I'm not sure that I buy the idea that these attacks are a sign that we're actually winning the war on terror. I mean, how many more victories like this do we really want to endure? Well, it depends how you think it started, sir. I mean, these, um, these movements had taken over Afghanistan, had very nearly taken over Algeria in an extremely bloody war, which actually was eventually won by Algerian society. Um, they, would, they had uh, sent death squads to try and kill my friend Salman Rushdie for the offense of writing a novel in England. They had uh, sent death squads to um, Austria and Germany, the Iranians had, to, for example, to try and kill uh, Kurdish Muslim uh, leaders there. Uh, if, you, if you make the mistake that I, th I thought I heard you making just before we came on the air, um, of, of attributing rationality uh, a motive to this and to say that it's about anything but itself you make a great mistake and you end up where you ended up saying that the, the cause of terrorism is fighting against it the root cause I mean and, uh, you, know, you, you even said extraordinarily to me that there, were, there was no terrorist problem in Iraq uh, before 2003 do you know nothing about the subject at all do you, do you wonder how Mr. Zakawi got there under the rule of Saddam Hussein have well, you ever I'm heard of Abu Nidal have you ever heard of Abu Nidal the most wanted man in, we could in say the world the, who was sheltered in Baghdad, the, the man who pushed Leon Klinghoffer off the boat was sheltered by Saddam Hussein. The man who blew up the World Trade Center in 1993 was sheltered by Saddam Hussein. And you have the nerve to say that terrorism is caused by resisting it and by deposing governments that endorse it. No, actually, At this I didn't stage, say that, after what, happened what in London I did say, yesterday, though, was that Iraq was not a center of terrorism before we went in there, but it might be now. How can you you know can make so the claim that you, you just can... made about any other country in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia. Absolutely so do you think nonsense. we ought to inv invade Saudi Arabia, where most of the hijackers from 9-11 came from, <laughs> following excuse your logic, Christopher? Uh, no, excuse me. Uh, the, the hijackers may have been... Uh, Saudi and Yemeni, but they were not envoys of the Saudi Arabian government, even, w even when you said the worst... Zarqawi is Saudi not an envoy of Saddam Hussein, either. Excuse me, when I went to interview Abu Nidal, the, then the most wanted terrorist in the world in Baghdad, uh, he, he was operating out of an Iraqi government office. He was an arm of the Iraqi state, while being the most wanted man in the world. The same is true of the, the, the shelter and safe house offered by the Iraqi government to the murderers of Leon. Uh, Klinghoffer and to, the, and to Mr. Yassin who mixed the chemicals for the World Trade Center bomb in 1993. How could you know so little about this and be occupying a I guess because I listened to the 9-11 Commission and read their report and they said that Saddam Hussein was not exporting terror. I suppose that's how, Christopher. Well, no, they, well, they, they just they needed to listen to you, was, Christopher. I'm not sure that they actually did say that. What they did say was they didn't know of any actual operational connection. That's right. No substantive operational and, connection. Me, and Al-Qaeda. Any direct operational connection. Now, Yes. That's because they don't know. They don't say there isn't one. They say they couldn't find one. But I just gave you a number of, I would have thought, rather suggestive examples.